Hello, this is John from TC Math Academy. And in this particular video, we're gonna be practicing basic algebra. And the problem at hand is the following. We have 8.1 is equal to 3m plus 4.5. And the objective here is to solve for the variable m. And uh, of course, we have some decimals here. Feel free to use a calculator. The point of this video is not to uh, practice decimals. Of course, you need to know how to work with decimals, but use a calculator. A calculator is a tool. But I, what I uh, want you to do, though, is to make sure you write out the steps to solve this problem. So if you're like, oh, I could do this in my brain or just do this on a calculator, and even if you get the right answer, if you didn't show the correct steps, that's not good. You got to remember, math is a language, and you need to know how to write that language, kind of defend your solution, right? So if you got this right, you'll say, you know, I might tell you, well, how do, you know, why is this the correct answer? Well, then you just walk me through the steps. Well, step one, step two, whatever the case is, here's the final answer. This is the way you want to be thinking in mathematics, right? You need to prove and justify, you know, all the conclusions you get. So anyways, be neat and organized and show those steps. That's the kind of stuff that you need to really kind of master at the basic algebra level. But uh, anyways, if you could do this, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second. And then, of course, I'm going to fully explain this problem. Also, if you need math help with the course you're taking, test prep or homeschooling, make sure to check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's kind of take a look at the answer here. Again, 8.1 is equal to 3m uh, plus 4.5. We're looking for uh, m. What is m equal to? Well, the answer is the following. We got it. m is equal to 1.2. Okay, so how'd you do? Hopefully you got this right. If that's the case, let's give you a nice little happy face and a plus a 100% and multiple stars. You can tell your friends and family then indeed you know how to solve a basic algebra linear equation with decimals. They'll be extremely impressed with that information for sure. Now, if you didn't get this right, and you're like, boy, I can't even do a basic algebra problem. I don't want you to have this expression, right? Don't have this like angry expression, like I'll never learn math, I can't even do this. No, that's not the attitude to have. What you need to know is the following, okay? You need to always have kind of self-awareness in your math skills. Like, what do you know, okay? Maybe you know how to add, uh, subtract, multiply, divide. Maybe you know you're good with positive, negative numbers. Whatever the case is, you need to, like, you know, understand the skills you currently know. Now, if you're struggling with these math skills and you're trying to learn them in some sort of math course, well, this is the stuff you need to work on. You can learn uh, you know, the things that you don't understand, you can learn and improve. So if you don't understand something, just make sure you put it in this column. Be like, okay, I need to work on this, this, and this, and this. You know, uh, you can improve in mathematics, but it's not going to happen automatically. So the first thing is to use, you know, a problem that you don't get right just as feedback so you know what to work on, right? So no discouragement, uh, certainly uh, in my videos, right? But if you got this right, you know, we definitely have to celebrate your success. Now, in this particular video, I'm going to show you here what's going on. You can see that we have the variable uh, that we want to solve for on the right-hand side. Okay, now, the reason I'm going to bring this up is because this is kind of a confusing thing for a lot of basic um, algebra students. So let me show you something here. So typically, when you're learning basic algebra, right, so you, you know, do problems like this, 2x is equal to 8, or 3y minus 1 is equal to 9. If you notice here, the variable is on the left-hand side, right? So it's pretty typical uh, to see the variable on the left-hand side. And we kind of want, in terms of, uh, as a general procedure, that we want to get all variable terms to one side of the equation. And typically, that's the left-hand side of the equation and all of our numbers to the right-hand side of the equation, okay? Just like this is right here. So this is kind of the general um, kind of uh, format that we want to work in. Now, in this particular problem, if you look here, we have our variable on the right-hand side. It's not on the left-hand side. So this tends to confuse some students who are like, well, what do I need to do? Well, you can, you can work the problem just like this. But what I like to do 
is just to pick up the right hand side and scoot it over to the left and we'll scoot the left hand side and scoot it over to the right. Remember if the left is equal to the right then a the right is equal to the left. So feel free to kind of move and um, you know kind of shuffle things over and right in the beginning of the problem just to make this problem easier for you. Okay that's what I like to do. So instead of 8.1 is equal to 3m plus 4.5 We'll take this and we'll put it over here. So now we have the uh, equivalent problem. 3m plus 4.5 is equal to 8.1. Okay, because at the end of this problem, we're going to have m is equal to the solution. Again, m is on the left-hand side of the equation. But this is not a necessary step. Okay, I think it's just a good, uh, you know, step, especially for those of you in basic algebra. All right, so let's go ahead and get into this now. So here is the equation that I'm going to be working with. So we have 3m, and right here, this is multiplication. This is 3 times m plus 4.5 is equal to 8.1. So the general strategy here is we're going to want to get all of our variable terms isolated on the left and all of our number terms on the right. So when I look at this, I got 3m. Okay, that's a variable term. That's where I want it on, uh, on the left-hand side. But I have 4.5. That's a number. I want all my numbers on the right-hand side of the equation. So we need to move this 4.5, positive 4.5, over to this side. So how can I get rid of this 4.5 and move it to this side of the equation? Easy. What I can do is subtract 4.5 from both sides of the equation. Okay. Remember, the golden rule in algebra is the following. You could do whatever you want effectively to an equation as long as you do it equally to both sides, right? Think of an equation just like a balance scale, right? If I have five pounds here and five pounds here, uh, I could do anything I want and keep this in balance as long as I do it to both sides, right? I can add 10 pounds here, uh, but as long as I add 10 pounds over here, that's not a problem, right? This thing uh, remains perfectly in balance. So whatever you want to do to an equation is perfectly fine as long as you do it equally to both sides. So the first step we want to do is to get all the variable terms on the left and all of our numbers on the right. So we have a positive 4.5. How can I get rid of a positive 4.5? Easy. Uh, I'll just subtract a 4.5 from it. And of course, that becomes zero, i.e. I kind of got rid of it on the left-hand side. But I also need to subtract it on the right-hand side as well. And if you notice the format here, this is the way you want to do it. You could kind of write four, uh, 4.5 minus 4, uh, 4.5 right here uh, to the right of it. But I would not recommend doing that because you, uh, you'll run out of space um, you know, on your paper. Okay, Remember, your paper is like this, not like this. So just believe me when I tell you this is a better format. So once you write this this way, okay, uh, we're going to subtract 4.5 from both sides of the equation. You draw a little line here, and then conceptually what we're doing is adding down in columns. So we have 3m plus nothing is 3m. Positive 4.5 minus 4.5 is 0. Now we don't need to show that 0, but that just kind of disappears on the left-hand side. And then we have 8.1 minus 4.5, and that is 3.6. Again, you can use your calculator. Okay, so at this point in the problem, we have all of our variable variable terms on the left, and we all uh, we have all of our number terms on the right. And this is what we call a simple one-step equation. So we have 3 times m is equal to 3.6. So to solve for m, all we need to do is divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay, so whatever's right here, again, we're going to do the same thing to both sides of the equation. Now, why are we divided by 3? Well, if this is 3 times m, when I divide by 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So we'll end up with a 1m, or in algebra, that's the same thing as m. Okay, uh, If you see a variable like x, uh, the coefficient there is really a 1x. Okay, so I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, uh, 1 m, or just m. And of course, 3.6 divided by 3 is 1.2, and here is the solution. Okay, so what's the main point to this problem? Well, a couple of things, right? Obviously, we're practicing basic algebra, basic linear equations, but what I really want to kind of drive home is even a bigger point here 
is the way you write your mathematics, the habits that you're building, okay? And the only way to get better at math or to have the right um, kind of habits and the right structure and neatness and organization and approach to problem solving is to model uh, people who you know how to you know do math correctly okay so uh, that's all I'm gonna suggest that if you are struggling uh, with basic algebra if you need to learn this stuff you know you got to be careful of where you're learning this from okay the way you write and structure your work is really critical so if you need help with basic algebra check out my pre-algebra course and if you need help with basic math check out my math foundations course again you can find this at tcmathacademy.com um, outside of that i have a ton of additional videos on my youtube channel as well that uh, uh, can help you out with all topics algebra geometry algebra 2 pre-calculus etc etc okay so with that being said i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures Thank you for your time and have a great day.